Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP in a USB device and boot from it. Oh, 20x Games Tutorials, I'm happy to help you. Alright, let's begin our tutorial. What we're going to do is to copy this link. I'm going to provide you in the description and we're going to download this program. We're going to go to this page and we're going to press download. Since I already have my program right here, we're going to hit run the last minute spreader and we're going to extract it to the desktop. Alright, now we're going to extract the Windows XP. You need to install WinRAR and we're going to right click and we're going to select extract files. We're, not, we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to create this folder on desktop and I'm going to name it Windows XP. And I'm going to hit OK. In the meantime, we're going to open the program right now. And depending on your use, your Windows, you're going to select 32 device or 64 device since my computer is a 64 interface we're gonna run this administrator here all right this is our USB drive select our USB drive select dirt and go to this option right here and make sure to select Windows XP the format and this option to make sure to clean the device hit yes keep in mind that all data will be destroyed hit ok and then we're gonna start to the process of the USB device so we're gonna prepare the USB device Just finish. We're gonna hit exit, and now we got this. All right. Remember, would you put your folder? We're gonna hit this option, and we're gonna select this, and we're gonna go to the folder that we just created. We're gonna hit. We're gonna go, and. We're going to go to this option right here. And we're going to go. It's going to take a while, up to 7 minutes. So, I'm going to fast forward the video. Alright, the process has been finished. Alright, before we eject the files, we're going to select our our draft, I'm gonna rename this Windows XP Home Edition. Alright. Alright, open the folder. And just ignore the driver because I make another uh, another folder there, so forget that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna look for this folder right here. And select this one. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the original Windows XP folder. And you're gonna copy all these files. And you're gonna replace all this from here. Make sure to do that. All right, we're gonna go to the computer. Right, let's go to the computer. That's Beba, that's my dog. <laughs> All right, let's go here. We're gonna put the USB drive right here. And 
we're gonna turn the computer on. We're gonna go to the BIOS setting of this computer. And make sure guys, that's very important that you select either mode. I'm gonna show you. The hard drive has to be, to be in either mode. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize the hard drive. So select either mode and save the settings. We're gonna boot now from the USB drive. We're gonna select the drive and we're gonna start to download this file to the computer. So the first step will be very simple. First you will select the number three and when the number three finish, you're gonna select number four. So we're gonna go to number three right now. And then you're gonna stop this process. I know that you've recognized this blue window. So you're very familiar with this. You're gonna go to hit enter. Since I have a Windows XP already, I'm gonna hit escape. And what you're gonna do, make sure to work with this partition. Do not touch this partition because this is a USB drive. Do not touch this one. So we're gonna delete this partition of this hard drive. And we're gonna hit quick. All right, after the process finish, this process will take up to three, four, up to five minutes. Uh, when this process finish, what you're gonna do is to boot from USB again, do not boot from hard drive, all right? And you're gonna select the number four. Make sure to select the number four, otherwise it's not going to work and you're gonna freeze and start So after the process finish, you're gonna select number four, remember that. Uh, well guys, I hope that you like this video, please subscribe to my channel i hope that you like it i hope that it is work it takes me a little bit of time to make this tutorial for you so please take care and i'm gonna show you what will be the end results well i managed to install all drivers from the computer at last i got every driver downloaded so you have to make sure that you have the driver from the computer otherwise it's not going to work uh, most computers do not support windows xp now but if you have an old computer you can use windows xp and you have to be careful because windows xp is no longer supported so use this as caution you can install Office 2010, that it will be the last uh, Office that, that Windows XP support. So, I'm going to activate Windows XP. This is a service pack 3 that I already installed, but you can go and search for yourself. Uh, make sure to download the service pack 3 and make sure to download the one that you have the product key because you have to have a valid product key, trust me. Trust me what I'm telling you, if you try to pirate this Windows XP, for some reason it's gonna disactivate it later, so you have to be careful. Alright, in here I'm gonna activate the Windows, since I have a valid Windows XP key, 
I can activate it with no problem. As you can see here, I'm gonna hit nest and I'm gonna activate it. As you can see, I already activate Windows XP. So yeah, guys, anything you need help with this, anything about Windows, anything about uh, iPhones, computers, uh, Apple products, iPhone, iOS device, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows XP and Vista, I can, you can go ahead and ask me below in the comment below. Uh, let me know if this uh, tutorial help you. I really appreciate it. Is please subscribe to my channel and like. And if you can support me, I have a link below in order to support my channel. Thank you guys. I really appreciate everything from you, and thank you for everything. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Austrian X signing out.